Hello guys, welcome to this academy. So in this lecture, I'll be explaining seismic load. Okay, so in this lecture, I'll be explaining how to calculate seismic load based on UBC 97. UBC 97 is an international code to to design buildings. So based on UBC 1997, uh, uh, using static method, I'll be calculating the seismic load that is base shear. Uh, as per UBC 97. So first of all, I'll just I'll just give you a brief. What is UBC? UBC is Uniform Building Code. Uh, this this has been revised and uh, now IBC 15 2015 has come. So uh, this there, there are advancements. UBC now uh, is superseded by IBC International Building. Code. Similar code is NBC National Building Code for Indian Standard. We, we also have IS1893 for, for seismic load calculation using Indian Standard. So in this lecture, I'll be talking about UBC. We'll be just uh, going through a, you know, a simple problem. So so first, I'll just uh, quote the equations. Which what are the equations for base shear? So then we can go for for the back calculations so we have as per ubc we have three equations equation 30.4 equation 30.5 and equation 30.6 so the equation equation 30.4 says v is equals to cbi divided by rt and this w is your total weight of the structure so this is total weight of structure so if you are having steel structure then total weight of the steel structure if you are uh, having rcc structure then total weight of the structures including your dead load of slab beam column everything floor finish everything so now this second equation second equation is 2.5 cai r w c a and c b and these are coefficients we'll just discuss First, we'll just uh, go through the equations. So this is the other equation. The third equation is point V is equals to point one one C A I W. Then there is one more equation thirty point seven when your your seismic zone is beyond seismic zone four. That is beyond three. So in addition for seismic zone four, the total base shear shall be shall not be less than the following. So among these three equations so this equation is the primary equations you can say this equation is the primary equations you have to compare this equation with these two equations so equation 30.4 should be compared with first 30.5 uh, which says the total base shear need not exceed the following so in case if the base shear, base shear based on this equation is exceeding this then this will uh, prevail. This this the value the base base shear using this equation will govern. So next uh, equation 30.6. So you have to compare these two. If the base shear of this equation is less than this base shear, like v is equals to 0.1 is more than this, then in that case this will prevail since. This equation suggests the total design base shear shall not, shall not be less than the following. So first we will calculate the base shear using this. Then we will calculate the base, base shear using this. And then we calculate the base shear using this. So it, so the result should be this value, the value the base shear uh, based on this equation 30.4 shall be between these two values greater than this and less than this. This 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 equations this equation will uh, govern when you have a seismic zone four. So first I'll, I'll just explain. There are total five zones as per UBC zone one, zone two A, two B, three and four. So I'll be just taking a simple problem where we we are considering zone one. So for zone one, zone factor is 0 0.075 soil type so we have a soft soil type so how do we uh, this soil type effect this soil type will help us to find out the the coefficient i have said this c a and c v so c a and c v depends on your soil type so that is this the type of soil is given in table 16 j volume 2 so this ubc this calculation is based on uh, ubc 1997 volume 2 so i'll just show you this 
table 16j. So this is a table 16j. That's a table 16j it's type of soils A, S, A, hard rock, S, C, very dense. So we are having S, E, soft soil profile. So where we will use, I'll just show you later on. Importance factor. So what is the importance factor of your building that you'll get? Uh, there, there is a table to find out the importance factor. So let's say the, I'll show you the table later. The importance factor for this building is 1 CV. Then how we calculate CV? So for CV table number 16 R, R is your response reduction factor similar to your RCC uh, IS code. So for building frame system, different bearing wall frame system, moment resisting frame. So based on we have concrete intermediate moment resisting frame. So I have selected concrete intermediate moment resisting frame or you can select anything like you can have a special moment resisting frame. So your R will be this is your R that is response reduction factor. So I have considered or uh, this uh, concrete intermediate moment resisting frame. So for that R is for 5.5. So R is 5.5 uh, then this time period. So time period is given under equation 30.8 UBC page number uh, uh, 214. So I'll show you that where the time period formula is given. So you can. So based on that, that, that time period cal time period is calculated. UBC 97, so time period page number 214. So this is CT. Now what is a CT? So CT we have these uh, CT, the value of CTs is based on CGS and SIs. For, we are calculating SI system. So for concrete buildings, the, uh, the CT is 0 0.0743. So we'll just go to uh, this uh, calculation. So we have CT 0 0.073 height of the building total height of the building let's say we have uh, considered uh, 19 point any anything we can have you can as per requirement you can have this height of the building so let's make it 10 meter so based on this formula this time period is calculated now first based on the first equation based on equation number one this uh, this equation 34 this base shear first equation will calculate base shear this cv i upon rt into w so just you can just we have this c cv cv will go to table 16 r so stable 16 r so stable 16 r cv as i said cv depends on soil so we have soil type se zone 1 where zone factor is 0 0.075 so see your CV is 0 0.26 we have uh, we, we have considered 0 0.26 so now 0 0.26 I is importance factor divided by R T R into T R was your response factor that is 5.5 time period 0.42 into W. So this whole comes uh, out to be 0.12 into W. So this is based on your first equation. Similarly, based on a second equation as per uh, UBC 97, the second equation says V is equals to 2.5 CA I W. W is again your total weight, R is response reduction factor and I, I is important factor CA. Again now CA is given under uh, table uh, uh, this Q, 16Q. Table 16Q where you will get the seismic coefficient of CA. Again that depends on your soil type. We have soil type SE, loose soil, zone 0, zone factor 0 0.075. If, if, if we would have considered zone 4, so in that case, this 0.36, this n is another factor. When we'll consider zone 4 calculation, that time 
we will take a separate lecture on uh, zone 4 calculations is me so that time i'll explain you what is na so let's see this ca is 0 0.36 but we are using zone 1 for calculations so ca is 0 0.19 2.5 into 0.19 into I importance factor into 5.5 response reduction factor into W is total seismic weight. So this base shear is 0 0.09 mega. Then third equation where base base shear is equals to 0 0.0 0 0.11 C A I mega. This comes out to be 0 0.03 W, the not omega. So base shear based on first equation, this has changed. So it is 0. 1 2 w so this has changed base here based on second equation uh, 0 0.09 w base here based on third equation the total base design base here we need not to exceed that which is specified so this should not be greater than this so 4 6 0 0 is greater than this so we will consider this value so the base shear will be this in our case. Again, we'll go back. The total design base shear need not exceed that specified under 30.5. So the, the base shear based on this, if it is exceeding this, then you have to consider the base shear based on this equation. And it should not be less than this. So we can again go and verify with the clause. Total design base shear need not exceed the following. So this this equation, the base shear based on this should be greater than this. Or if it is coming great greater than this, then this will be governing base shear. So minimum between these two values will be governing, and maximum between these two cases will govern. So in our case, this this base shear will be the governing base shear that will be our design base shear so the distribution of base shear and uh, the base shear calculation for zone 5 i'll be coming up with another video there i'll explain uh, this remaining part so i just wanted to cover all the reference clause so better to to, to make you understand better i have referred all the clause i have mentioned all the clause page number and uh, the references uh, for uh, for your convenience i'm also uploading this excel sheet so you can download and you can go through and you can refer for your future uh, uh, help so thank you have a nice day take care and goodbye and please subscribe to the channel and keep sharing our videos